Welcome back to the Bunkies YouTube channel. My name is John and today we're going to talk about Chia syncing issues or farming issues or never being able to connect. So I've made some previous videos to help fix uh, the problem which was both in the software and how it was written, the GUI and the um, CLI version. version. Um, but they now have a new fix out within the last 12 hours and it's version 1.1.6. Um, so there it is, 1.1.6. Um, this has corrected all issues across the board for me. Now it's only been probably several hours since I've installed it, but syncing has been no problem and I haven't fallen off the network um, on my farm um, since updating it. Now this was true with 1.1.5, four never worked for me and three, um, I did have syncing issues as well. So if you haven't seen that, um, go head over to GitHub or Chia.net. I'll just go through some of the updates. The biggest one is this first point right here and right here. Um, so they had something called the DNS introducer. So I have a previous video where you put in the link to the introducer with a port number. You wait roughly three minutes. It doesn't give any indication that anything is happening. And then all of a sudden you're syncing again. Um, they said it's too simple. Uh, we hope to replace as quickly as possible with an introducer that uses DNS in the style of Bitcoin, whatever that means. So um, this release will use both. And as we gain testing with the DNS version, we will slowly be phasing out the classic introduction. Anyway, so this should help you connect and sync, which is what we all want. You can't farm unless you're fully synced. So you'll see either not available or not syncing or, or nothing's happening with the farm. Um, you can continue to plot, but um, I'd rather have my bingo card in the pool instead of uh, just having it sitting doing nothing. Uh, the rest of this, you can whitelist networks and hosts and you can see it there. The rest of this is just a lot of fixes, uh, which is great. Um, but the biggest thing of note was the syncing issue. Then they had some stuff change and then some bug fixes. Um, and then there you can download it and get going. So I did download it and I installed it on the Mac. Um, on the Mac, you simply uh, turn this off. So it turns everything off and says you'll no longer be farming, which isn't a big deal because I couldn't get it to sync anyway. Um, so you can see now my status is synced. When I go to my farm, it says I'm farming. I have no rewards yet. I have 36 plots on this machine and everything's grow, growing, growing, growing out of control. So, um, so that's how you get it to sync. The other way that I got it to sync on previous versions, and I do think it's worth noting, is to open up port 8444 on your router. So I opened up that port and then I pointed it to my Chia machine. This is a Mac Pro. Um, it's on the floor with a bunch of hard drives connected to it and it's doing a whole bunch of different things, including plotting for Chia. Um, so I opened up that port and it would sync in and out, in and out, in and out. Now there were problems on the network, there were issues, everything's growing like mad. Um, so that was part of it, but um, oh, I see this has been added, but the syncing um, was always part of the issue. So you can see there's a Plex server on here um, doing its thing. One thing I noticed, so you can see it happening right here in real time, is before on these blocks um, and their states, I didn't see any movement. I mean, I didn't even feel like it was doing anything at all. And now with this new version, there's a lot more movement on here and you can see it happening in real time. The next thing I'll point out is the connections. This is huge. I would always have maybe, I would have the farmer, the wallet, and maybe one full node but I would never have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nodes, a farmer and a wallet. I think that's really great. You still have the option to connect to other peers. And I will show you that link. It is Kiva, chia.kiva.app. Let's make this way bigger. And they've cleaned this up a bit. They used to have the introducer down here. Now they got rid of it. Um, but you simply copy, copy this, go here paste it into the IP, boop, put in port 
four 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 and hit connect. And then what was that? Five dot one eight nine. I never see it right away. It always takes, you know, three or four minutes. I don't know what's happening in the background. If you do know, let me know. Um, I'm sure on the CLI version, maybe you can see a little bit more info. Did it just add someone? Full node zero. Anyway, so I've added, I've gone through and added this whole list manually just to get it to work because I want to be farming. Um, so it did not add it, but it's not a huge deal because I have, you know, eight or so full nodes connected. Um, so you can see the height there is not, not there. Um, so people say, you know, how much Chia do you have? You saw it in my wallet. I got none, um, except for I did get 0 0.000000001 from the Chia faucet. So I put in my address. I clicked, I'm not a robot. I hit submit. It took maybe four days and they gave me, I don't even know what that is, a thousandth of a penny. Um, so I do have that to keep my Chia Plots company. I wish it was just straight one and we all do, but I'd love to know what you have gotten so far solo mining since pool mining has been delayed. And also if this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. And I'd also like to know what, what size farm you have, how many plots do you have, etc. I'm using a super old machine. I only have, you know, 30, where are we? 36 plots. Um, I just had to restart, so I had to wait for a plot, then install the new update, and then start plotting again. Um, so mine is going really slow. I don't have these beastly setups like most do, but I am farming and I am waiting for pools. Um, and if you're excited about pools, let me know in the comments below and which pool that you're going to jump into. All right. Well, if you've made it this far, go ahead and hit that thumbs up one last time. Hit that subscribe button to see more Chia videos just like this. Thank you so much for watching.